software engineer and a paraeducator build a bridge. <laughs> See? Should be a good combo. See how that goes. Ah, he just dropped. He's down there. He just Okay, so here's the first, I guess it's a prototype, strut that we've built. And this is not our design. We still, we, well, it's actually Pete Nelson's design for stanchions. So we borrowed that idea. Don't mind the mess in the garage. It's a disaster down here. So we've got, this is the first one. We need one more knee brace, I guess you call it, on this side. Uh, to finish this stanchion, and then we have to build five more, I think, out of this stack of four by four posts I just brought in from the truck. In order to build six more stanchions, we plug this into uh, ChatGPT um, based on eight four by four 10 foot pieces. We asked her to optimize our cut list for all the components, and that's what she spit out. I don't know why I refer to her as she, but that's what it spit out. So that's our first step is to cut all our pieces. We have to go through and put the correct angles on them. Uh, the shorter ones get like a 10 degree angle. The longer ones get a 10 degree angle. Once we get all the correct angles cut, we can start assembly. But we're going to be here a while. I think it's 3, 3.37 Saturday. So we want to get all these done tonight. So we can take them up tomorrow for the long weekend and see if we can get them all installed. One of the cuts we have to make is this. Each of these, let me show you have a 10 degree angle on the bottom, but where they intersect, this is a 70 degree angle. And let me show you how I cut that. Here's my guide that's cut at a 20 degree angle. So I keep my saw at 90 degrees and then, you know, place this long 24 inch piece against my 20 degree angle. So when I cut it, I'm left with my 70 degrees on the left hand side. It's a little painful because we have to, you know, clamp each piece in so it doesn't move. And then you still have to hold it, but it's definitely it's giving us the most consistent cuts at the moment. So we're going to stick with this. I forgot to mention, if anybody's interested, I can provide a cut list for all these pieces. I'm not sure if anybody's building a suspension bridge or not, but...
these are my stellar notes that I have to explain to Jamie. <laughs> For drilling the holes, or pre-drilling them. Exciting stuff. That's way off. There you go. You got it? Yep. Huh? A little more. That's good. There's 20 feet, right? Yeah, roughly. Time to unload. I'll put it back in the truck after. Well, the stanchions are up on the deck, waiting, and now we need to unload the 2x12s that are going to be the floor of the bridge, the bridge and, the and then the 2x6 two, two railing. railing, and then our extra 4x4 four four posts, which will probably be used for deck railing, I think. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, well, you got it. Good job. Awesome. Last one. 
Handrail. <sighs> well, this one was light. Mm. All right. Now to put our bridge building to the test. It's going to be put through the test, all right. Yeah. Software engineer and a paraeducator build a bridge. <laughs> Let's see. Should be a good combo. Let's see how that goes. We are getting ready to tighten up the brackets on the treehouse with a, what is that thing? Impact driver. Impact driver. And then we're going to attempt to tighten the cables. Um, oh, we're not going to attempt. We're going to tighten the cables. We're going to tighten the cables. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, anyway, we're going to tighten the cables so that we can start putting the stanchions out and get this bridge done. It's at night and we're kind of, we're moving slowly, um, but hopefully we can at least get the cable tightened up tonight. And maybe tomorrow we'll be able to start the stanchions. Oh, choke on the Jamie's relocating another spider. All right, well, he's won't, he'll be fine. But isn't that where I'm putting my hand? No, the wrench is going. The wrench is going behind there. The wrench is a foot and a half long. Oh, okay. You're good. If I feel something, I'm going to scream. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> ah, he just dropped. He's down there. <laughs> he's on the ground by the tree. Yeah, he's coming back. All right. Is he coming back up? I hope not. There's nobody else back there, are there? Hope not. No, it looks good. All right. I think we're good. I think we're clear. All right, All right let's screw this thing on. Any words of wisdom? Clear all spiders out before you have to do any tightening. And uh, they're nice and tight. Yeah, should be good. And maybe build things closer to the ground. Yes. I think that might be easier. Yep, a lot but easier. If it was easy, everybody would do it. That's true. <laughs> what fun is that? All right. On to the next step. Next step. So Paul's trying to insert, uh, uh, what? Attach. Yeah. The these, protectors. Yeah. These spacers. Spacers to keep the cable from touching the tree. There's three of them. So hopefully the tree appreciates it. What did we get that nylon for? Oh, oh, for the stairs. Bottom of the stairs, yeah. Yeah, we use the same nylon on the bottom of the stairs. It's pretty durable stuff. So, here's hoping it'll work well. Okay, I think that's pretty much centered. Level. Now, good morning. So today we're gonna to finish uh, tightening up this 25 foot cable. And then I think we can, we can start tensioning this line. And if everything goes right, hopefully we can start putting the stanchions on today. What are we not doing? We do not saddle the dead horse, right? Right. Is that what you're, is that what you're <laughs> Yeah. I think those are supposed to be a saddle width apart, so. I've got one out there, and then three That's in here. That's a little wider than a saddle there. But... It is, yeah. All right, let's tighten these up. Three was a minimum, so we, we've got four clamps. I wouldn't mind putting another three, one, four. One, two, three. Another three more on. And this just happened. We, uh, a Paul over torqued. I don't know if I, well. I don't know. Possibly. Anyway, so we tried to back the... The nuts off the... And then it sheared off. So, uh, another... When we're wondering why this project is taking us so long, we need to remember these times because uh, we have had a, we have to order stainless steel clamps or saddles or whatever these are called. Yeah, preferably if we can find some made here in America would be nice. Yes. Um, so I don't know if these are defective or what, but... I mean, literally backing the nut off, just... They sheared off, so... Okay. Yeah, we definitely don't want to use that to use that. We can't compromise the strength of the bridge. <laughs> no, not at all. When we're already, we're gonna pause. Order and these. Order and these and 
next weekend, maybe we can start the actually bridge. getting the bridge up. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. So. Stay bye. tuned. Thanks. <laughs>